What is going on guys? It's the CH with your 13th video and in your intro to HTML and CSS tutorial. And I kind of biffed it narrating through the last video, so I'm really going to try to bring my A game for this video. All right guys, <coughs> excuse me. In this video, we're going to start adding CSS to our HTML file. And I'm going to show you two ways how to do it. And the first way we're going to do it is to have our CSS on our web page, our index.html file, which is called internal CSS. And here's an example. So I have this opened up. And I'm going to pause the video and type in a chunk of text right here. So I'll see you guys in a second. And I just wrote a little bit of text in here. Uh, as you can see, I use some line breaks. I'm really utilizing them to show how they work in effect because when I open it in the browser, I don't want to I don't want it to look like it's just one line of code. I want it to look like it's more of a paragraph. Okay, so okay, so for the next a couple minutes I'm going to talk to you guys about span tags and div tags as I go through this tutorial. Now span is an inline element and div is a block element. This will make perfect sense in about one minute. We use divs when we want to use big chunks of code or, or, or paragraphs. So if I want to use this whole thing, this is what I'm going to do. Here's how you create a div in CSS. So I'm going to go to div style equals and the color and I'll change it to red. That's fair. And color in CSS just refers to the font. Um, if you're trying to change the background, this would be background color. So I'm going to walk you through these CSS attributes as we go along. That's background color. We want to change the background color for that part to red. But we, I'm not looking to change the background color. I'm looking just to change the color of the font. So here's my opening tag. Now I need to close it. So I'm going to close it right down here. It's how you close a div tag. Just like that. Now I'm going to save it and I'm going to open it up. Where's my folder? I'm going to open it up in Safari. And there it is. There's my red text. And I got my line break right there, right there, and right there. So again, div tags are for big chunks of code and span tags are for inline. So if you want to only change like a word or maybe a short phrase, here's what we do. This is how we do it. Let me move this back down here. I like my old setup when I had this kind of up like that. And okay, perfect. Okay, so for a span tag, say we only want to have subscribe to my channel uh, in a different color. So I'll go, here's uh, the HTML tags for a span tag. We'll go to span style equals color. We're trying to change this color as well. And I want to change this to blue. And to close a span, caret, span, and caret, less than, greater than. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to refresh it in my browser. There it is. Subscribe to my channel now showed up in blue. And keep in mind, uh, if you know your hex colors, you don't have to use red or blue. I mean, HTML, your browser is going to recognize like the more popular colors like red, purple. Let's see if purple works. Let's reload that. And it did. It changed to purple. What about, what's a crazy color? Um, let's see if yellow shows up. And in fact, it did. Yellow's down here. Doesn't look good on a white background, so we're going to get rid of it. But if you also know your hex pattern, and your hex pattern, I don't know if you guys know about colors or Photoshop or any graphic design, but if you want to use your own custom color, you just have to know the, the six-digit number. So I know this one funky orange off the top of my head. kind of looks like the Home Depot orange. It's FF, F800. I guess like the first two colors of this are like red, these two colors are blue, and these two are yellow. Don't quote me on that, but let's see if this works. There it is. So it's a little bit different than the red. That's the orange that I was looking for. But uh, yeah, here's our first CSS that we created eternally on our index.html page. So hope you guys followed along, and good luck with everything, and I'll see you in the next video.